<clears throat> hey guys, it's Megan. So I have a little bit of a heckler tonight, so if I start to crack up, it's because my husband's trying to make me crack up. So he's threatened to try to do things that'll make me laugh. I told him that I can do a video and not have that as an issue, so <clears throat> we'll see what happens. Now he's peering around the door. I'm ignoring him. He doesn't do well when you ignore him. He's like a little lost puppy. He doesn't know what to do. Alright, so... Um, Big Brother last night. I watched it, and... I didn't do a video because I kind of wasn't sure... Really what to report on, because... Or report on, or talk about, maybe. Because there wasn't a lot that really happened. They had an event. They... Um... They built some kind of statue, and whoever won that got to, I, I don't remember if it was the power of veto, or if it was Battle of the Block, or, honestly, I'm, I'm getting more out of the live feeds that I've been watching since they started doing those than I am about anything else. Um, I believe that I know who's going to go home this week, but I could be wrong. My prediction of the first house guest to leave is going to be Jace. <clears throat> I just watched some of the house guests and everything. There might be a surprise, and he might go, like, week two or three or something, but he's like a caged animal, and he's already showed his hand when he was talking to Austin, saying that he can make himself cry or make, you know, get the emotions going, and he can, you know, do a really good job with that and make people believe things, and he's going around telling people, <clears throat> that, you know, he's, his, two of his jobs, he's lost, he might be able to get one of them back, but it's questionable that he had to give up his apartment, he doesn't have a car anymore, when he goes home, he's probably going to have to live back with his mother, and he's just, um, given his whole sob story, and I think he's campaigning right now, but he's, as soon as he found out he was like a caged animal, he was, um, stuck in... He he was trying to run around the yard and was trying to pace, but he was really like a caged animal. And then he starts whistling, and um, I know the producers of the show had to tell a couple people to stop singing, because I guess the show doesn't have rights to the songs that they're singing or whatever. I think um, I think one of them might have been Chase, and he might have been in the shower, and he was singing something, and he sang an entire song. Um... I'm constantly hearing them tell somebody to put their mic back on. Earlier today, I heard the producers yell, absolutely no one is allowed, is permitted to jump in the pool, and I guess somebody had done a cannonball or whatever. Um, I know, I think Jason said he saw a, uh, uh, somebody, <clears throat> one of them said they saw somebody um, trying to do something in the house, and they didn't know somebody was there one of the, the crew or somebody from the show, and they opened up a door, it was like a deer in a headlight look, said hi, and then slammed the door, sh or shut the door real fast. So, I know they're not supposed to be talking to somebody from the outside. Um, I kind of thought last night we'd find out who the twin is, and my eyes have been on Liz, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's not Liz, and maybe it's, you know, the poker player or the poker dealer. I don't... I don't know. I mean, she, the poker player to me, Vanessa, she seems like she's a nice enough person, but it's just boring. It's, it's her talking, and, I mean, I know they don't, she doesn't want to tell anybody that she's a poker player, and that she's saying she's a DJ, and Devon is, Devon, Devani, whatever, I don't know how to, I, I tried to say her name. Anyway, she's telling everybody she's a school teacher, but I know she's got to be missing her little baby that she left, and, um, I got the live feeds going right now, and I'm watching uh, Chase and Shelly laying on a something outside. It's like a couch, but it's rounded, and they're sitting there talking game, and Austin's working out, and you got people inside and um, eating, and somebody was doing dishes, and I got to watch Becky curl her hair earlier, and... Um, the other day I turned it on and one of the cameras was in the bathroom and Jace was putting his moisturizer or sunscreen on. Um, 
I saw Chase in the hot tub this morning, and then Chase gets out of the hot tub, walks into the house without a towel, and goes and gets his shades and comes back out. Um, I think Austin's trying to figure out what size weight he wants to lift right now. I don't know. Um, I know there's a show on Wednesday night, and then there's the live, uh, what do you want to call it? The live, um, eviction, thir yeah, Thursday night. So, I look forward to see how that plays out. Now, I was watching season five of Big Brother, and that was the season where the twin twist came in, and Aunt Adria and her sister Natalie made it to the time allotted, and they were able to both come into the game. Now, I don't know if they'll go home. one of them will go home the next week or what, but that was kind of cool when you saw the cast doing that. Or they, they figured out the twist on that one, and they were pretty accepting of her, except for the one meathead guy. I think, I don't remember if his name, I think Scott went home that the week that she was coming into the game. So, I wonder if at least we'll know who the twin is and if they'll make it to the point to where they can have both of them come in. Now, I'm not thinking anybody's thinking that they want to have, um, that this year they're going to have twins in the game. I, a couple of them have said that they have a twin sibling, but that's it, you know, and my opinion is it also could be Becky, because Becky, when they were doing the video where she was first coming on the show, she had a sister that looked pretty similar to her, but there was some subtle differences that I'm sure you would be able to tell if you were really paying attention. I don't see anybody really, you know, I don't think they're looking for that. They're probably not even thinking it. They're talking game. They're talking about different Act, you know, different contests or competitions and stuff and trying to compare it to other years. But I think this year is going to surprise everyone. I mean, you have the Big Brother takeover. They allowed um, the two nominees that were up, um, Vanessa and Dave, Davon, to um, be safe this week. They couldn't be put up for eviction, and they could each pick somebody. So we know there's at least four to five people that are safe, but... Um, I know Jace, I believe Jace went up, and I can't remember who else went up with him. Honestly, I was really tired last night when I was watching it. I was trying to get through it, so I don't remember. But I'm sure I can remember, you know, come Wednesday or when I see him again. That was a catch-up. I don't know if the audio picked up on that. All of a sudden, I'm not saying anything, and you can hear the sound waves go up and down on the computer. So, um, Oh, he says it was ranch, not ketchup. Who puts ranch on a hot dog? Because that's what we're having is hot dogs and tater tots. And it's just weird. Mine's ketchup and mustard, maybe some relish, but not today. And that's it. I don't know what he, what all he puts on his. But, okay, back to the subject of Big Brother. Um, let's see. Uh, I know this season, when the HOHs went in, we got to see them enter the HOH room. There were two HOH rooms. It was like an adjoining, I don't know if you, there was two rooms and a bathroom. Um, and, of course, you know, Jason was the, one of the HOHs, and he got knocked off, so... Um, the people he put up got, I guess, were safe, and um, I know I know Jace is up. I just can't remember who the other one is right now. But, um, yeah, when you're watching the live feeds, they don't show you that there's a separate room next to the HOH thing, so I didn't know there were two HOH rooms. Because I thought maybe one had to sleep on the bed. They could either share the bed or one slept on the bed and the other took the couch. I didn't know how that worked. So the live feeds show you a bunch of stuff, but not everything. And then the show shows you a little bit more. I mean, we don't get to see in the live feeds. We get to hear who gets called to the diary room, but we don't get to hear what they're talking about. And they're not allowed to talk about their sessions in the diary room. And they're also not allowed to talk about production. Um... Oh, that's where the camera's... Okay, that was a little messed up. The feed went off and came back, and it looks like that they're filming through the window. Is that how you're seeing them? So, as long as they have their mics on, we can hear them. But, um, 
Yeah, I mean, the show's kind of interesting. Different things I'm picking up on. They will do a lockdown where they will only allow you to be either in the house or they'll only allow you to be outside. When they lock down, you can't come in. I'm wondering, what if somebody has to use the bathroom? I hope they don't keep you out there for too long. So, okay, I had a YouTuber that commented on one of my videos earlier, and I saw, and it said, you talk too much. Jeez. Well, I'm doing a video blog. Therefore, I'm giving my thoughts, my opinions on certain subjects. Of course I'm going to talk. I'm not just going to sit here and be like, hmm, wonder what I can do for a camera. Of course I'm going to talk. You know, unless I'm videotaping somebody else talking and I just sit here or I give a little bit of commentary, my whole videos are about me talking about different things. So... I mean, if you don't want to hear my opinions, that's one thing, but, I mean, just just be respectful, you know? I, I appreciate any comments, whether they be, you know, productive or good or bad, but just, I mean, it kind of, it bugs me because if you're watching me, if you're watching my video, of course I'm going to sit here and talk to you. That's what the videos are of me talking. So maybe I'll, you know not babble as much, but you never know what's going to happen. So, anyways, like, fave, share, subscribe to me. I will be back with more videos later, either another one tonight or tomorrow or whatnot. Um, some days I may do more videos, other days I may do none, or I may do, you know, just a couple little small ones. So, um, yeah, you guys have a good one, and I will be back soon. Bye.